Hey Exploring Expressor fans, Mike here. Flying solo today. I want to tell you about a cool little booth I ran across at Overland Expo East a couple of months ago. They were selling this cool little tool and this is all they were doing. It is a wire cutter and stripper. I saw he did a cool demo on it. I thought, well, that'd be kind of neat to have it around the house if I ever get to use it. I had the chance to use it a few weeks ago when we put up a new porch light and I was able to strip the wires on it. I've been one of those guys forever to use a pocket knife to strip wires with, which I'm sure many of you have done before. Sometimes it would come out pretty neat. Most of the time it was kind of sloppy you know, to split the wires and, and the whole nine yards and then and get the braid out so you could wire it up to whatever you were going to do. And that doesn't matter where it's home wiring or wiring lights on the Jeep or wiring the winch onto the Jeep, just several things that this thing could be used for. But anyway, I got a chance to use it and it was incredible. I was pretty excited about it. Um, I did record a video with the gentleman um, that was selling these at the expo. Uh, I'm going to let him show you how to use it. Uh, he does a much better job than I can or would ever think about doing and just watch it through and, and tell me what you think about it. All right. This is an automatic wire stripper. There's no die holes, no adjustments. The self adjusts to the wire size every time up to 12 gauge, even some 10 gauge. Here's a little 26 gauge, maybe stranded wires. Maybe you're doing LED or control wires. Let's go right back. We well, sit them four at a time and you're not nicking strands at all. Cutters built right below here. Maybe you want to splice in the middle of a wire where you want to tie into it or check a voltage. Just pass the jaw over the wire where you want to tie into it. It opens up nice and clean right in the middle of the wire. Here's the trailer light wire. And just did them both at the same time. Again, you're not nicking strands. Uh, if you're in a tight spot, maybe under a dash or in a tight compartment, uh, most strippers wouldn't fit in a tight spot like that. You can nose our tool in where most tools, uh, wire strippers wouldn't fit into. If you're doing a lot of connectors, say you need a quarter inch stripped off for a bunch of connectors, we got a, a stop built in here. There's millimeters on this side, inches over here. You can set that stop for how much you need stripped, put the wire into it, touches the front. Now you got that exact amount every time for your connector stripped off. There are 35 in the catalog. We're only 25. Uh, uh, $25 at the expo here or you can contact us at 706-878-0977 text or call us and we can ship one to you all right I hope you enjoyed the video uh, like I said as always like and subscribe below comment and tell us about what tool that you have that makes your uh, setting up your overland vehicle a little easier if you you know anything that you're installing in that vehicle and if you found a cool tool or, or a different way to do it let us know in the comments below have a great day